Happy Hallow's Eve, everybody. Tomorrow is Halloween 2013, and I am really excited. Um, this is a scary costume that I have designed that will scare everybody away from my house so I get to eat all the candy. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, if we move in our scene, we can talk about the next brush inside ZBrush 4 R6, the Groom Blower Brush. Uh, to access it, you press B, G, B, and let's see, turn the alpha off, zoom in, and let's isolate the pumpkin's head, because it needs a little more, I don't know, scariness to it, and a little more um, little detail. So let's turn MRGB on, and full blast. This brush really pushes geometry all over the place. Now, I needed to add a little bit of geometry to this pumpkin, so this is probably not going to work. So let's turn MRGB off and reduce the Z intensity a whole bunch and see what that looks like. Okay, probably not the effect I was shooting for. Control Z. Let's turn an alpha on, alpha 23. This is a really effective tool, or alpha, to use for decay and, you know, crazy bumps all over things and stuff. So if we just start spraying this all over the place, it adds a lot of life to the pumpkin that we have. Okay, move around. Let's decrease the Z intensity so we can be a little bit more carefree. Okay, now I like all this uh, steady increase in, um, I don't know, uh, bumps and all that. Okay, almost done. You can use any uh, fiber mesh uh, grooming brush with regular geometry to help sculpt and after we discuss all the brushes I will go back to the uh, grooming brushes to see what they can do with uh, actual uh, fiber meshes pretty spooky okay and we can even paint on the face itself to give a little more story. Spooky. Okay. Let's zoom out and re-render this picture to see how it looks. Uh, BPR. Ooh, scary. He's so scary, he's uh, glowing blue. If anybody likes this video and wants to see more, and is, and is excited to see the rest of the fiber mesh grooming brushes in action, please subscribe and comment below. Thanks, everybody.